poverty is a choice it's not a gift it's a choice if you are poor you made a choice nobody made you poor not god not satan it's choice and let me tell you coming to church will not deliver you from poverty coming to Egeboda, coming to church will not so if that's why you're coming you can as well don't come again you don't need church to be free from poverty you only need a clean brain the gospel is not about making men rich the gospel is about making men arrive at a destination called salvation the message of the bible is to save men from sin if you want to make money go to business school poverty is a choice it's not a gift it's a choice if you are poor you made a choice nobody made you poor not god not satan it's choice i'm not joking poverty is choice nobody made you poor and let me tell you coming to church will not deliver you from poverty coming to Egeboda, coming to church will not so if that's why you're coming you can as well don't come again coming to church will never deliver you from poverty you don't need church to be free from poverty you only need a clean brain the gospel is not about making men rich the gospel is about making men arrive at a destination called salvation the message of the bible is to save men from sin if you want to make money go to business school they will teach you the natural laws that govern the operation of money in the system and when you understand the laws and you apply them you will be rich all the treasures you need are on the earth and god has given it freely to all men not to church men not to christians he has given it liberally to all men because he created all men so he must make sure all men have food to eat because he's not a wicked god he is perfect and good so even the native doctor must have food to eat the wizard in the village must have food to eat why because for god so loved the church god loves the world you wonder why unbelievers are making it they understand the world and they know how to run the system and they are applying the laws you you are spiritualizing things leave that thing you are spiritualizing things where you should walk you are fasting and people that are not fasting and praying are walking so they are making money while you are fasting and you still go to them and they drop you some little peanuts because they are doing what the system responds to you, you are doing what this system does not understand the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof the world and all of them that dwell inside they are all the lords he owns it he owns it. what about agriculture see farm everywhere see land you don't need too much to farm just use hand <laughs> form ridges if you cannot buy whole use hand the earth will respond just carry things and scatter they will germinate true or false they'll germinate and you say you know get work see employment everywhere just beg somebody can i have your piece of land he will tell you i borrow you for one year that's capital business don't start but you know what you like thai you like yanga with poverty can i talk to you a man has a car pastor praise and he's hungry it's car abuse car abuse look it's not a subject of intercession enter that car put four liter fuel and go and park put signboard on top the only prayer is father direct passengers here that's the only prayer passengers come you start you start seeing them come am i teaching poverty is a choice it's not a gift it's a choice you don't come to god to be free from poverty you come to god to be free from sin i prophesy over this church none of you have any business with poverty in the name of jesus i speak over you by the power of the holy spirit this day i cancel the spirit of excuse and I rebuke pride. I rebuke pride. I rebuke pride. You know, some of you, your problem is public image. What will they say? How can they see me like this? How you be? Remove the suit. Wear t-shirt and jeans with canvas. Nobody will know who you are except your family people and your friends who have not helped you your family people and your friends who have not helped you who are laughing at you and they can do nothing about the fact that you have decided to do something about your condition to stop their laughter it's pride that's why the bible says pride goeth before a fall pride goeth before a fall pride goeth before a fall you don't need god to have what what god has given to all men you just need an understanding